Next up, we're gonna be doing some chimps over here on end of the road. So we're gonna head there with Oban as our hero. And I'm gonna be teaching you about wizardry. And as all lessons in wizardry begin, we're gonna start with a ninja monkey right up here, up until red, and then back down right there. Now we're gonna press play. We're gonna upgrade the ninja discipline and then the seeking shuriken. gonna take just a minute. Some of those red balloons are quite slow, which is to our advantage sometimes. There we go, ninja discipline. Now things are gonna start speeding up just a little bit while we save up for the seeking shuriken. Probably one of my favorite tier one upgrades. And it might be one of my viewers least favorite upgrades considering I talk about it all the time. But we do a lot of stuff with ninja monkeys here. Now that we have this to 101, we're gonna come back over here and save up for Oban. Oban's gonna go up and then to the right over here. So up and then to the right. And right here, we're going to get to 700 right at the start of round 12. So we have plenty of time. So up and then to the left until we touch the ninja monkey and then up and then to the right. Now we can speed up. What we're going to do here now is come back over here and place down a wizard monkey. The first wizard monkey is going to go over here, up, and then to the right, up, and then to the right, right there. Excellent. Then we're going to place down our secondary wizard monkey. It's going to go up, up, and then to the right. We want to make sure we're all the way up, and then to the right. Looks good, right? Now we can come back over here and get these sharp shurikens. The ocean provides. We're going to put down a monkey village here in just a moment. Waiting for 1295. all the way to the left and then up and then right make sure we're in the right spot so we go up and then to the left right there you can see everybody's within range we all have the monkey village buff we're gonna get monkey business and monkey commerce then we're gonna come back over here and get the caltrops upgrade The Caltrops upgrade on this map is really strong. This map does give you two looks, but they're really far apart. Yes. So now we're going to place down our third wizard monkey. It's going to go over here. It's going to go up and then to the right. Up and then to the right. Right there. We now have all three wizard monkeys. We're going to come over here. And we're going to get the fireball and wall of fire so that we get extra popping damage here. We're going to get the intense magic and the monkey sense. And now we're going to save up for the dragon's breath. It sure sounds cool. It's also an upgrade I don't usually get, so I don't actually know what it does other than more damage. So 
So we have it. Very cool. Spitting lots of fire. Now we can come back over here, get the bigger radius, and save up for the jungle drums. Very nice. We now have so much damage for round 40. We're going to save up for 1295 again. I'm gonna go over here. It's gonna go up and then to the left. Up. Right there. Left again. Looks good. Monkey business, monkey commerce. And now we can go a little bit crazy with the upgrades. We're going to go over here and go to the Guided Magic Arcane Blast and save up for the Arcane Mastery. We're going to get the Intense Magic and the Monkey Sense. We're going to come back over here and get the Flash Bomb. Flash Bomb is really good here as it stuns everything in place so that we can do more damage. And stall on this map is really nice. going to now come over here and get our third wizard monkey started. We're going to upgrade until we hit the necromancer. Necromancer online. We can go ahead and grab the guided magic and the arcane blast. As we can see the necromancer gets a ton of range. And this is before the secondary buff from Oban, so you can imagine how much range this is going to have. This is also a good example of why they had to nerf the range on this tower. It's so much range, and we haven't even really started buffing the range other than the monkey village so far. Now we're going to come back over here and get the arcane spike. Arcane Spike is really good. Stronger. Just a little bit more. And of the things we're doing here, I'd say Arcane Spike is a good thing to look further into. I feel like it's one of the best all-around upgrades for bringing into a build with Oban. Obviously druids are really good, but Arcane Spike can do a lot of damage to mobs, so we're going to go ahead and put this on strong. We also have the Necromancer Monkey to clean up here, so being greedy and wanting to get more pops per shot out of this is covered by the Necromancer being a really strong cleanup tower. next thing we're going to get is an alchemist. It's going to go over here. It's going to go up until red and then to the right until red right there. Up and then to the right. We want to get that placement here so we can see these three towers are going to be the priorities for the buff. We can set this to strong, get the stronger stimulant, and then we're also going to get the stronger acid and perishing potions. Because we're going to have some really strong fast shooting towers here, the perishing potions is great. You get more shots on the towers that you're throwing onto. And now we're going to come back over here and save up for the Archmage. Camo leads, no problem. They're getting bigger. At times this looks like a real build, doesn't it?
does a pretty good job of popping everything on the first look here. And there we go, we got the secondary buff from Oban now. So look at this range. It's pretty crazy. We're floating 20k on round 63, and it looks like we're just fine. Because there's some really good synergies here. The Necromancer being the cleanup, this doing lots of damage. This being a bunch of front-loaded damage to anything that's not a mob with the Ring of Fire and Dragon's Breath. Oban reminding us that the mobs are getting bigger. Which is kind of true, kind of not true as well. You would think that that voice line would trigger on round 60. But it triggering right there in the middle of a round that doesn't have a mob upgrade is kind of weird. We're almost to our Archmage. Which will be pretty cool. I don't think the Archmage gets more range, but if it does, we'd be right here at the tip. Doing pretty good damage here. We can compare the pops, and this has done a pretty good job considering the investment in this was much higher. This tower really hasn't gotten to see too much, so we forgive it for only popping 6,000. Any pops that this tower has are very important, comparatively. There we go, Archmage, online. And as I kind of knew, we don't quite reach the edge of the map there, but this is still a really good spot. I would not move over just to get a little bit of speed on this run. With the Archmage being built, we can now come over here and get the Prince of Darkness to give us a little bit more safety here. then we'll be capping everything off with the tier 5 fire wizard monkey. As soon as the waves come in. We're at the point of every chimp's run where it feels like the balloons aren't really coming in fast enough. And it does seem like Moabs just don't give enough money. Compared to stacked blooms, they really take a lot of damage for not a lot of money. Just about 10k more until Prince of Darkness here. Your size matters not. Prince of Darkness being 25k is definitely missed. Yes. It makes such a huge difference. So 
there we go. We have the Prince of Darkness online, and we're two-thirds of the way through our lesson in wizardry. We have the Tier 5 Prince of Darkness and the Archmage now. Very cool. Although the Archmage is so strong at this point, the Prince of Darkness isn't really going to do too much. Now we're going to come back over here and start upgrading our Fire Wizard Monkey. We need 58k more until we get the Wizard Lord Phoenix. I knew it had the word Phoenix in it. And for 58k, I'm sure it's really strong and good. need such a well thought out build to get to 58k too. And it's kind of crazy that we're at round 90 and there's still that much money left in the run. Shows you the importance of those last 10 rounds. If you're playing too fast, you have to really be upgrading quickly, or you're going to be floating too much money. The cool part about this build though is we don't have a single radar scanner upgrade, so that's some good money saved there. We also have the Prince of Darkness to reveal stuff. And we see those DDTs running in and just getting stomped. So no worries there. POD finally getting some good pops there. I think the undead BFBs are really cool. The zombie blooms could use a little bit of a visual upgrade though. It's hard to tell that they're even zombies. So we're getting pretty close to having the wizard lord phoenix. Fortified ZUMGs. Pretty strong mobs there. They get cleaned up once they get popped. Really grateful we have the Archmage doing a lot of damage to those. And we're almost a 58k. Start clicking that, and there we have it. The Wizard Lord Phoenix. In my testing, I'd say that it's very strong. It's definitely not a Spectre that costs 50,000 to upgrade. And we're getting the Sticky Bomb here before round 100 because we want to have extra damage to this BAD coming in. We can take a look at the Wizard Lord Phoenix though. Just barely getting to 300k. But it is global, so we're doing damage that entire time. But you can see here, especially, it doesn't do much damage to ZOMGs. Like that's hitting it constantly, and those ZOMGs really aren't getting taken care of very quickly there. So here we are. Our monkey star is the Archmage. Very strong tower there with 1.25 million popped. 
getting buffed from the Alchemist and Oban the entire time. And we can take a quick look at our lesson in wizardry here with the tier 5 towers. We have 360k, which is pretty good considering this was the second tier 5 tower that we upgraded and it didn't get the priority of the buff or anything like that. And then we have this tower over here at 300k, which admittedly we did upgrade it last. But I would say of these three, this is definitely a tier below these two. You could definitely make both of these two towers work. And of course the Ninja Monkey with the Sticky Bomb is a great touch up for round 100.